If you're worried about some bugs, you'll put some uh, Elmer's glue on those bare tips. Oh, thank you, you thank you very stuff. much. Yes, um, roses can be susceptible to cane borers. Um, and if you have had a problem with cane borers, you'll know what I mean. The, the new growth will uh, come up, it'll uh, leaf out, and then it'll shrivel and bend over like that. So that's a sure sign that you have cane borer. Um, and what you want to do at that point is cut down. Um, if, if you cut right at the top, you'll notice that there's a little perfect circle going right down into the center of your cane. Um, so you want to cut down below where you see that. If you're real interested in length to dissect things, you can cut lengthwise on there and open it up and you'll probably see the little guy in there. Um, he's not your friend. Don't let him um, go. Yeah, throw him away. Squash <laughs> him. Yeah, smash him and throw him away. Um, and then, yes, you're right. You can take a dollop of Elmer's glue. If you've had problems with bean borers before, at each cut, just put a, you know, just have that little bottle in your pocket and, and uh, put a dollop on each um, fresh Will that fresh black material pruning seal also uh, I think it will. do the job? Uh huh. Or I think it will. And, and maybe better. I don't know. I, I've never used it, so I don't know how um, how it hardens up. Yeah. And the Elmer's glue, honestly, you know, will soften up in the rain, you know, and you can go out and do it again a couple of times until they start growing. It, you know, it's a preventative. It's not not perfect. It's not a cure, but it will help.